there's a craze now for reimagined stories, taking another book from the past and changing it around so it fits in more with the way we think nowadays. That's not to say these, these older books weren't wonderful. They are, that's why they still lasted. But we have different kinds of views. I've done this a couple of times. Um, when I was a child, I liked a book called What Katie Did, about a fantastic tomboy girl who then has a terrible accident, uh, can't walk for a long time. And in this book, set in the 19th, well, it was written in the 19th century, um, she is encouraged to be very good, pray to God, be absolutely the, the sort of little angel in the house, and then at the end, she gets to walk again. Now, we all feel very uncomfortable with that idea. And we also know that if you have a really bad spinal injury, you could be so good, you could be the best person in the world, and it wouldn't necessarily mean that you could walk again. So I tried to write a story called Katie about another Katie, a very lovable, but naughty, funny tomboy girl who has a serious accident and she has a really difficult task because she is gently told right from the start that it isn't really likely that she will be able to walk again. But I wanted to show that Katie could have a very different life, but still be the same mad sporty girl and still be very popular. But it's a difficult thing. So rather than concentrating on her trying to be good, I tried to show that she had to be determined and, and quite difficult at times and not put up with friends being very sort of smarmy and pitying, but also not letting herself be, be bullied by really hateful people who just don't understand what it's like to have a disability and to use a wheelchair. And so I did my best with it and um, I have been thrilled when I have had um, letters and emails from children in similar situations. I did it also, I am a big Edith Nesbitt fan and she wrote a book called Five Children and It and I wrote a book called Four Children and It. I wasn't copying her, I was just using one of her magic characters bringing him into modern times and seeing what modern children would wish for if they could have anything they liked. And I found that great fun. And now I've done exactly the same with the Primrose Railway children. I've taken the railway children um, and you can't have modern children playing around on modern railways because of course it's incredibly dangerous. You wouldn't be allowed to walk by the track or do anything now. But a vintage railway way is just a little bit different and I wanted to point up some of the differences and make it a good story although whether it's as good as the Railway Children by E. Nesbitt you'll have to read both and find out for yourself.